Hey guys, what's going on? Caleb here, and today I have another video. This time is on what I call Moscow. So this is another Napoleonic build. Um, 1812, Napoleon has already invaded Russia. He's in Moscow, and his troops are starving and freezing because a lot of the city was destroyed and burnt down. So what I started with this build was actually the building itself. Um, I knew I wanted to build something with brick, and... I didn't know what genre it should be. I was initially thinking a fort, but that takes way too much time for what I want to do before going back to school. I want to do Fort McHenry someday because I've never seen somebody do it, and it's a very cool piece of American history. Um, but So I looked up, you know, like French brick houses, I think, and um, this isn't exactly how it looked. Um, the roof structure was definitely different, but you might be able to find it if you look up, you know, brick French house on... Um, on Google or like World War II, um, just throw that in there somewhere. Um, but I think it turned out pretty well. Tried to give some variation in the French um, troops here. You know, different um, different feathers on the shakos, kind of presenting different units or possibly ranks. Um, this guy's wearing. Dark tan um, pants. Uh, I don't know. Other ones got ripped. He might have gone through the city trying to keep warm. Some of them got the the trench coats from MMCB. Got those a long time ago. They're still still paying me back for that um, for that trade I made with Malachi MJ Louder. If you guys know him, MJ Bricks on Instagram. So you no know, little little details scat um, scattered around here. Uh, you know, discarded musket, Shaco, um, little bone there, kind of trying to emphasize the lack of food that there is around the build, or Moscow in general. Little fire pit. I was trying to figure out how I could assemble a fire pit out of, you know, bar pieces or plates, and I've never been good with that, so I just figured, just do a barrel. It's kind of typical. Um, yeah. More little details over here. I don't know if this is enough rubble. Honestly, probably not. But we can just say that the rubble fell over to the right. Or maybe it's underneath a little bit of the snow here. Um, but I tried to throw some stuff on here. Um, but I also wanted to finish this before going back to college. So that's my excuse. This is by no means perfect over here. But we have some rubble. And I really wanted to make it look good for, you know, this angle. Because I knew that's what I was going to be taking of the build. Um, up top, you can see focus. There you go. In the attic uh, portion, you know, you can see a chest, globe, little bucket. Then if you go around the corner, you can see all the deep um, structural ugly parts of the build. Which, it's it's a very ugly build from the back. Oh, I, yeah, I just covered it up with walls of dark tan. Not dark tan, light tan. Um, but if you did see inside of there, it's bad. Um, let's see, can you see it through there? this little window nope anyhow so that is really the build not too too much to show um this little can't call this a vignette because it's bigger than a vignette but i've definitely built bigger scenes um yeah halo scene right here is definitely bigger but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and my recent builds it's going to be a while before i am able to build again and I really just wanted to do this, um, you know, three builds before going back to school. One, because I I still love Lego even when I go to school. Um, I have Lego sets there that I actually buy with my girlfriend or with my friends while I'm at school and build. Um, but uh, I'm also kind of practicing for Lego Masters, I guess, or building a, a portfolio. So let's see if we get selected we keep moving on through the process but i will keep you guys updated as we go on so anyway guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you all later